Well, hi there, folks, and welcome to Art Tips with John. I am your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, bringing you the show that teaches you not only how to create amazing paintings, but also how to build a very successful art business as well. Now, it's great to be back with you. I do apologize. I haven't been here in a while. There's been a lot of things that have been going on, but I'm here right now recording a brand new series of Art Tips with John. All the questions that you guys have been firing in, I've taken note of, and one by one, week after week after week, we are going to pick them apart as I give you some healthy art tips that's going to improve not only your artwork but again your business as well and what better way to start than opening up a big can of worms by asking the question are you making art for a purpose now what I mean by this is are you creating art with a view to sell it or are you just doing it for fun now there's two massive differences here one to sell it means that you want to make a living you want to do this for a business you want to do this full time that is your end goal okay the other one is you're doing it for fun you're doing it for enjoyment you may give it away to charities you may do some fundraisers and things like that but you're not doing this strictly for a living maybe you've got other avenues that you really want to pursue so you need to get really really clear as to whether you're doing this for a living or whether or not you are doing this just for fun there are two major differences obviously in how you approach the whole thing so if we take the assumption that you are doing this to make a living. You're doing this because you want to do this full time. You want to get paid for your art. And it makes sense because at the end of the day, you are putting in a ton of work, you have a ton of expertise, and you're putting together something that nobody else can. So, are you thinking about your customers when you are painting your different projects? Now, what I mean by this is, I'm working on a series of paintings right now that focus on different art pieces. Now what I should say, please do forgive the facial hair as well. I know I look like a shaggy dog at the moment, but that is because I'm currently in filming of a series, a brand new series called Art Through the Ages, which means that I head back in time. I find this great portal, I head back in time to the Industrial Revolution and then to other time periods as well. And apparently they didn't have access to a razor during that time period, but here we go. What I want to ask you now is, are you creating art pieces with people in mind? For example, one of my periods of time is talking about Jack the Ripper and the autumn of terror that came from this story. Now, those are my specific customers, people that like Jack the Ripper, people that like old London, people that love art, sort of weird and gruesome surrealism, that love horror stories, that love murders, that love unsolved mysteries, all those kind of things, they are my target audience. How do I know that? Because I've been doing this for 16 years and I know my audience really, really well. Other pieces that we're talking about here may be landmarks, may be pets, portraits, you've got a wide plethora of topics that you can pull from. So you can pull from fantasy art, you can pull from portraits, pets, uh, places, landmarks, seascapes, under the water, uh, mountainscapes, etc, etc. But in my experience, the ones that sell the most are pets and portraits, and then you go for your landscapes. Why? Because they are the most personal. So if you are doing this to make a living, what I want you to be thinking about is, quite simply ask yourself the question, is what I'm going to paint personal to people? Can people connect with it? Does it actually really resonate with people on an emotional level? And if it doesn't, then you've got to ask yourself the question, okay, should I be painting it? And don't get me wrong, you may love painting mountains. I know, I did, and I still do. But if you're looking to sell your artwork, it may be worth painting mountains of, I don't know, Lake Michigan, or it may be worth uh, painting mountains of Boulder, Colorado, or Switzerland, and the Jungfrau, or the Isle of Arran if you're in Scotland. Um, you know, have these things in mind and you'll be more likely to succeed when you are trying to sell your art. So I hope that really, really helps guys. Uh, definitely think about your clients, think about who you want to attract, what kind of art it is that you do, and what kind of people you want to be your ideal clients. And with that, I promise you, you will be on the road to success in no time, more than you even thought. And if it's not transferring to sales straight away, it will definitely, definitely increase your engagement on your posts as well. Well, that's all we've got time for today, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please do feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And, of course, we've got a brand new channel here at Outreach Art. This is the home of Art Tips with John and all of our future artisting endeavours. And until next week, I will catch you soon. I've been your host, John Morris. Head to outreachart.org. Head to John Morris, Out, Art from the Heart, and you can check out our latest work, blogs, tips, hints, and so much more. And I'll catch you soon.